Should you use Bubble in your Node projects so you get the most up-to-date uh, JavaScript syntax? In my opinion, absolutely not. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's just talk about it. Yeah, so from painful experience, uh, I can say that using Bubble in your Node projects is most probably not worth it. And here's why. It makes your build pipeline more complex and that is something that is not to be underestimated and that has a lot of implications. The project gets harder to maintain uh, because now you have this additional build step and you need to take care of it. And you know, Bubble also evolves. Um, that's for example, what happened to me. So when I first did this, I used Bubble 6 and then Bubble 7 came out and Bubble 7 was like totally different from like Bubble 6. And then you have the pain of like upgrading. Uh, and for what, you know, for this little advantage that you can use the import instead of require, not really worth it in my opinion. Yeah, so it's like harder to maintain because it adds an additional build step. Uh, it's harder to onboard new people because it's more complex. And it's also harder for yourself, right? Because if you're, say you're running inside of a Docker container, what you need to do is uh, you need to first take like the project, transpile everything, put it into like a new folder. And then this is what runs inside of the Docker container. And this has a few implications. So for one, debugging will be much harder. So say this thing crashes and it kind of prints like an error message, something like, oh yeah, crashed on line X, Y, Z. If you don't have bubble or if you don't transpile, that's kind of easy, right? Because you just run the code that you have written. So you can directly go to this file and say, yep, here it is. But if you use Bubble, then Bubble is doing crazy things with your code and rearranging things. And that's why you might have to do some detective work to figure out where exactly it crashed. So it's very painful to, to debug new things. And uh, that's like the second disadvantage. Yeah, another downside is that it will probably slow you down in the development process because it's just harder to set up and, and, and to write your code in. Right. So the more build steps you have, the more complicated it gets. And another thing is that, you know, once this build is running, no developer wants to touch it. And what ends up happening is that, you know, if you implement a feature and a new version is out, people don't care. Like they just implement the feature and that's it. And so step by step, your build or like the, the build settings of your projects are like out of date. And once you have an application that has like a, I don't know, Bubble, which is like three or four major versions back, like it will be very hard to kind of upgrade all of this. So it kind of gets worse over time. It's, it's maybe even a form of technical debt that you have. And it doesn't really bring a benefit, right? Always bear in mind, we as software engineers, we want to decrease cost and increase revenue. Well, if you have this additional build step, you just make things more complicated. Now on the front end, you can justify that, right? Because you get all like the modern syntax and that's like perfectly fine. But you also have like CLI tools, something like Vue CLI or Create React app that take care of all of that. So you don't have to do anything. So in that case, it's fine. But for the back end, I just wouldn't use it. Yeah, so that's my take on a bubble on the back end or bubble with node. Uh, let me know what you think about this uh, in the comments below. So what was your experience with using uh, bubble in node projects? Maybe you made good experiences. I don't know. My experience was uh, pretty painful because I had to fight with these build systems, you know. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you have a question, you can also reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Production Coder. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.